How's it going everybody? Today I want to talk about Double Cross. This is an upcoming platformer for Nintendo Switch by the same developer as Runbo, one of my favorite platformers out there for Switch. And I really love the single player content in Runbo, so when I heard that the same studio was making a strictly single player platformer, I got really excited. So I've been playing the game during the review period with Eric, whose review you're about to be hearing with my voiceover of course, and I can pretty much echo everything he says. I, I like pretty much 100% agree with everything. I disagree a little bit with he like really loves the art style I'm not that big a fan of it but other than that it's a great game and you're about to hear the review so let's jump on in double cross does a lot Set in an interdimensional world, it's the story of Zara and Rift. Rift stands for the Regulators of Interdimensional Frontiers and Technology. Zara is an agent within the organization. Their main goal is to keep the galaxy in each dimension safe. After an attack on Rift headquarters, Zara suits up and sets out on an investigative, action-filled, puzzle platforming adventure through multiple worlds. As I journeyed through different dimensions, I noticed striking differences between them. There's Reptaria, a universe in which dinosaurs never went extinct from Earth. Then there's Gootopia, which is filled with monsters made up of toxic goo-like substance. Each dimension presents new gameplay obstacles, enemies, music, and upgrades. And given that each one is so different from the next, Double Cross's implementation of a larger world made up of smaller dimensions is ultimately a great decision. I found myself continually excited about moving from one dimension to the next, as everything was constantly changing. I had to adapt to the new gameplay elements per level, which brought a genuine challenge. The backbone of the gameplay though, is its platforming. Double Cross's platforming isn't perfect, but it doesn't really need to be. I was able to fluidly sling, jump, and run my way through a multitude of levels with ease. The constantly unique, high-speed level changes made for death pretty often, but akin to Super Meat Boy, you pick up right where you left off almost immediately, and it makes for a frustratingly fun time. And though the game feels wonky from time to time, its issues are hardly ever game-breaking. Only minor hiccups in gameplay occurred, and on an immensely irregular basis. Combat is basic, but improved through upgrades acquired. It's a pretty standard leveling system. Upgrades that improved Zara's speed and defense, such as shields, I found the most importance in. Because the game is centered around fast-paced, slinging action, I prioritized quickness in maintaining my health bar as opposed to the more outright offensive strategy. Double Cross shines as much in its gameplay as it does in its art style. The popping visuals differentiate heavily from stage to stage, making the settings a joy to venture through. Some dimensions are dark and bleak, whereas others, such as Thunderdome, a world where robots seize the power from humans, are an incredible spectacle. Though Double Cross's gameplay and visuals sparkle, its story falls flat. The central conflict didn't connect with me as I had no previous knowledge of Zara or Rift, and its importance was greatly overshadowed by the more emphasized parts of the game, like platforming and combat. I found myself disinterested in the story overall. Without many smaller, side adventures to supplement the plot's lack of material, I became a bit bored with the dialogue exchanges at times. The game's story takes an unfortunate backseat to its greater elements. I had a great time with Double Cross. Its wonderfully done combat and visuals, along with the creativity behind its multitude of worlds, all come to fruition in what is genuinely a fresh and exciting game. At a $20 price point, I highly recommend picking this one up. 